Welcome to Totally Awesome Fishing. We're here at Watmore Farm Fishery, ladies and gentlemen, for the biggest match ever. You think of Godzilla versus King Kong. You think of the rumble in the jungle. Think again. This is the biggest face-off ever. That's just right. There's going to be one winner here. Only one can walk away. This swim is not big enough for both of these guys. This is a match between two baits that absolutely hate each other. I'm telling you now, only one is going to walk away. It's a match between... Yeah! Meat! And his arch enemy. <laughs> dog! Yeah! It's meat versus dog. Hot dog, that is. Welcome them to the ring. Yeah! They hate each other. <laughs> This is pork lunch and meat, and this is hot dog segment. Both are two of my top baits. Only one's going to walk away. Might not be this one. So I'm here at Watmore Farm Fishery with these two arch enemies, meat and dog. Okay, the best way to buy pork lunch and meat is from the supermarket. That one, tulip, is about the cheapest I've found. I'm going to cut that up into squares and I'm going to throw it in as bait and hook bait. But you get it even cheaper. This might look a bit weird because I was barbel fishing with it the other night, but that's a circular chunk of meat, pork lunch of meat that you can buy from the supermarket and it will generally work out cheaper than buying it in a tin and it will be fresher, therefore more fatty and hopefully the fish will like it. In contrast, you have the hot dog which is all squishy and soft. You can cut this into segments about an inch long or even slice them smaller. Mix it all up with your ground bait, throw it all in. It's a killer dealer bait for barbell, I can tell you. Not really a fast water bait, being soft it washes off, but here in a lake it's going to sink to the bottom and, you know, out of the two pork lunch of meat, I think maybe the hot dog segment might be the winner in this big competition. This is how I slice them up and I'm going to put them in over a bed of soppy wet bread. Okay, let's go with a tough guy, Mr. Mr. Fatty, greasy, yucky, I wouldn't want to eat it, really, lunch of meat, which I've cubed up here. You can see I've cut them all into cubes, about yay big, and all the same size as my hook bait's going to be, which I'm putting in on a link ledger, standard link ledger, one SSG on there, and I'm going to scatter them in. Now I'm fishing them all in amongst the same swim. So I've baited one swim. This is Monsieur Le Hot Dog. Oh, he's a saucy little old chap, you think so? Yes. I'm going to cut him up to about that big for hook bait and little slices like that for loose feed. Now you can catch on these loose feeds like this, no question. I've had some really good carp fishing, close in, float fishing, loose feed. And I'm link ledgering here, five pound line, Size 4 barbless carp hook, wide gape. I like wide gape hooks because biggish bait. And I'm going to mix these in. I'm baiting the same area. Throw in some bread in first. Nice base of soppy wet bread. It's all it is, just regular sliced bread out of the supermarket. Just to give me a base of feed there for the small roach. And then all this, scatter it all over the top. And then two rods out, fishing them no more than two feet apart because I want to see which one's the best of these two guys. Let's see if we can catch something. After baiting up with a base of soaked bread, follow up by scattering three samples over the top. The ducks will love you for it. You will also doubtless have noticed that the ducks love all that meat as well. What if you can actually fish with diced duck? Fishing a pair of Ava rods, standard gear, totally awesome fishing gear for this big match and a pair of rods pointing straight down straight to the one swim and down here that's the two bobbins which are my plastic ones and testing 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 both working and this one's got the hot dog that's got the dog on it this one and this one has got that big old chunk of a disgusting fatty pork lunch of meat let battle commence and it's bait sound, round one. Five minutes, five minutes, and the dog has taken the first blood. I've no idea what it is, it's fighting right peculiar. 
It's not a duck anyway. With the first blow being made in this awesome match by none other than a hot dog, it looks like it could be a memorable battle. Porky luncher meat is on the floor. Well, literally. He's reeling. He's staggering. He's, well, he's waiting to be cast out again. Game on. And that first carp is in the net as well. And a dog takes a first strike. About a six or seven pound. Might even go eight this one. Let's check it out. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at this one. What do you think, guys? That's round one to the hot dog segment. But I wouldn't give up on that pork lunch of meat yet. It's a fatty chappy, it's greasy, slimy, and these kids love it. Round one to the hot dog. Fish of a car with lunch of meat or hot dog segments is cheap, easy, and amazingly efficient. The truth is the fish love them both, yet there are lots of anglers out there who might be missing some great action. I've used hot dogs for my barbell fishing for years, and I've yet to see another angler using them. They're lovely. And it's round two. Out comes fighting. Yes, lunch of meat. Unfortunately, the fish has got me in the weeds. See what, guys? It's not a bad carp stripping me out. So this one. This is a goer. This is a goer. Better get the other one out of the way. This meat is going to produce a bigger carp than the dog. This is the biggest face-off of the year. Do not adjust your screen or clear off to make a cup of tea. I was only going out to make a short film on baits. That has now turned into something of an epic battle. There's a bigger fish this time, guys. That last one was... That last one's good. This one's a chunky one as well. There you go, that nice common. That's a nice common there. I guess that one, do you know what, I'll give it even, so that's one round each. Two rounds, ding ding, let's get the third round on the go. See who's going to come out fighting, meat or dog. A quick pose for the camera, and this one's back to join his buddies. And the other anglers have all gone home just at the wrong time. Ah oh, yes folks, round three and the dog came out fighting and scrapping. Lordy lordy, he ate that piece of hot dog and sucked it back like he was a lollipop. And with meat or dog on the hook, you could get a pleasant surprise. This Watmore fish is just amazing for scrapability. Don't go too light at Watmore, they are animal fish. It's close, it's close to being the magic figure. That's the end of the third round coming, that's the end of the third round, who's going to be in front now? Commons, mirrors, leathers. They all love meat bait. There we go. Yeah. I can tell you now, I can tell you now, this one came out fighting. It is a double. This one must have been eating 
all of the hot dogs, all of the luncheon meat, and all the bread as well, and probably those geese. Well, ducks actually. Hey, 12 12. It's a football. We used on a rugby pitch, this thing had passed. It's the England team to the Welsh. Look at it, it's fat. What a cracker jack fish, and what a session I'm having. So, two rounds, both gone really on point and weight to the dog. This contest was between meat and hot dog, but who's the real winner? Well, me of course, I'm having a great session. And get those loose samples into the water. They don't catch anything if you leave them in the bait tin. Right, little break in proceedings. This is what I'm going to do to show you how I put great big cubes. It doesn't even have to be a cube, you can cut any shape you want. But if you push this into it, it's going to be buried. So what I do is, I go through the hook, out the other side, pull it right through. Then I go through again, slowly. I know you guys can see this, but halfway through the bend. So as I pull it tight, like that, it just pulls tight here. Just like that, you can see that hook point should be just protruding there. So it's almost, it's almost better than the hair rig because the hair rig, the hook's back here somewhere. The fish has to suck the whole cube back to get the hook inside his mouth. This way, if he just nips that and moves off with it, that hook's gonna nick into something. And I've got another bite. The setup I use is totally old school. I haven't changed it since I was catching carp at Cut Mill Pond in Surrey 40 years ago. I don't use self-hooking bolt rigs, I don't use hair rigs, just straight baits and I strike the fish as the bobbin goes up. It doesn't get any simpler. Set your rods up so they slope to the water, minimising line friction through the rod rings. You don't want a taking fish to feel anything. The only resistance is from those ultra lightweight plastic bobbins I use. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to tell you, but fourth round, dog has come out big time fighting this. I think he's actually got a belly hook one. But they all count. Do you know what? I think this is about an eight pounder. Fourth round, three have gone to the dog. Pork lunch of meat, nowhere to be seen. Just one round. Look how thick, let me just show you how thick this one is across the back there. Can you see there? Chunky fish at this Watmore. They are so strong, fat, tough, short fish. Tell you what, I bet it goes over seven. They might even go eight pounds that one. But the dog is kicking butt big time. Let's get some more baits out. I thought I feel sort of sorry for Paul Lunch and me at the moment. It's 3-1. Ladies and gentlemen, lunch and meats on the way. Old porky, old porky lunch and meats. Come good on the end. Left hand side of the swim. Another good fish. I see some big ones too moving around. Bubbling and bow waving and stuff. I don't know what size this one is, but he's digging well. Typical Watmore fish, digging like a tuna. I don't think he's that big, five, six, seven pounds. Oh, do they ever scrap in here? Do they pull your string or what? Nice looking, nice looking mirror though. Should have bought myself a bigger net, I think. And he came for a bit of fun fishing. I don't know. Six and a bit, so a pretty tasty fishing session. I can tell you, lunch of meat is making a real porky fight of it, but the dog ain't done yet. Still in the lead. Come on fish, come on fish. Nearly, nearly, nearly. 
You can't let the dog down. This is a silly fish, this one. He's been, been very silly now. He knows he's won a competition. He knows he's won the knockout blow. He just wants to milk it. Fucking hey, come on. That is, without a doubt, the knockout one for the dog. The dog has won. So there you go, guys. Totally awesome fishing. Shows you how it's done. Yet again, on lunch of meat, pork lunch of meat, and hot dog segments. Hot dog segments are mustard. They won this competition. I'll tell you what, they're going to get me a big barbel next week, I hope, as well. Good luck with the fishing. Get this one back. I have one more cast, guys. I couldn't resist it. I don't know if you're even going to see it. 10 pounds, 9 ounces. That's two doubles. So, what was it on, you want to ask? It was on the dog. I've really got to go home now. That's a crackerjack fish. Two double figure fish. Eight carp total. Get some meat out there. It's well worth it.